Arcade Paradise is a new adventure from Nosebleed Interactive and Wired Productions that takes you into the 90s as a young teen ready to rebel against his family's business and turn it into his beloved dream as a full-blown old-school arcade. This game is an absolutely great idea and I've had the pleasure of being able to play it early on and see what it's all about. Although it looks like a simple and easy light management game, you really must put into work to reap the benefits. Here's my review on Arcade Paradise VR, releasing April 25th to the MetaQuest Store. At first I was blown away on how we are immediately greeted with some awesome comic looking intro that really had a full blown 90s music vibe to it that really hit my soul. I love the small little nods to the lava lamp, the cassette player, and even the NTV logo in the top corner. The intro is fantastic and really sets the mood to what is about to come. I found out that my name is Ashley and I would be working in the family owned business under my father to prove my worth in his laundromat. I am very impressed by how good the graphics look on this game as it really made me feel I was in a laundromat all the way down to the sheen on the chrome washers and the stains on the floor. This would be my welcome to what it's like to be a teen and finally have a real job. This is where, just like in real life, you have to put in the work and reap what you sow. This part of the game you are basically grinding it out doing various tasks to complete your day. Picking up trash, cleaning the toilets, removing gum from things, emptying the coin machines, and of course, the main bread and butter doing people's laundry. This mechanic is pretty cool because it actually does make it feel like you're working. The feeling of being a teen and having a crappy job came rushing all back to me in a heartbeat. Here you learn to take the clothes out of the basket, put them in the washer one piece at a time, then you must set the washer to the correct rinse cycle as you don't want to disappoint your customers by shrinking their clothes. In between washes, you can keep yourself occupied by picking up trash around the laundromat that patrons leave and throwing away the trash outside. It felt kind of odd because you don't really put the trash in a physical bag per se, but you kind of drop it into the air and it gets sucked into a bag automatically. Nonetheless, this is where the mini games start for Arcade Paradise. Once the trash is full, you head outside where the bag that's full awaits you to throw into the trash can. Standing at the three-point line gives you an S rank, which earns you some extra money, which, if you do correctly every time, adds up after a while. Your watch acts as an alert for when you, all your tasks are ready to be done. Now it's time to switch the laundry over to dry. Pull the clothes out of the washer, move them to the dryer, put the clothes back in the dryer, and be sure to select the correct dry cycle via the color of the basket. This is important because you don't know it yet, but you're being graded on how well the laundry gets done. Once it's finished drying, you place them on the counter for the customer to pick up and be graded. The better the rank, the more money you make. This is pretty much it for a good chunk of the start of the game. Yes, it can be repetitive and starts to get a bit annoying, but let's just say it's well worth the fun that you're about to have. The dial on the washer and dryers is a bit annoying in my opinion, and don't always seem to turn when you try to move them. I really like to see these turned into probably some push buttons, like the cycles for the wash and dry buttons, as I think it would be so much easier to work with them and press them. Eventually, the monotony is broken up by being able to check out some of the arcade games in the back. The games are of various titles and really stand out as being uniquely their own. A few remind you of the games you played as a kid and the cabinets are designed really well. Playing the games feel great as each game is its own mini game, and you totally get the chance to move from cabinet to cabinet finding out which one you love the most. Eventually, you earn enough money and hop on the computer to chat it out with your sister and father about what needs to be done with the old business. Turning it into an arcade will be more profitable, so this means you need more cabinets. You can get on the internet, check out all sorts of cabinets to order based on price. This screen also eventually unlocks some cool personal upgrades such as an assistant manager to help you around the store, which I highly recommend. 
Once the order is placed, the cabinets will arrive in the morning. This is where you get to finally use your tablet as you're able to place the cabinets in any order you wish, which can really have an impact on how much money the cabinets make. Placing crappy games next to good games was a great strategy to use and definitely made me a few extra bucks. Eventually your father decides to fork out because he sees the arcade cabinets are actually making money. So you get to redo some of the building just how you wanted it to look like in a retro feel that is absolutely amazing. The colors, the lights, the sounds all brings back so many memories. This is exactly why you work so hard and things are starting to look up for you. Earn money, buy arcades, expand your business. That's what this game is. You can have fun with playing all the things that you bought. Playing the mini games on your tablet for extra challenges to earn money really does come in handy as well. Overall, this game can be really repetitive, but it is definitely fun once you put in the work. I think it's a really fun management simulator that puts you in the perspective of what it takes to own your own arcade. I love the nostalgia it brings and the variety of games to play to kill the time. If enough hard work is done in the game, you get to sit around and play games all day while your machines make all the money for you, thus getting rid of the laundromat. I really highly recommend this game if you want a nostalgia trip back to the 90s and for anyone who loves old school arcade games. Once again, Arcade Paradise comes out April 25th, 2024, so make sure you wishlist it so you don't miss when it arrives. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we will see you on the next video.